All right guys, today I am in my old neighborhood at a house that I actually owned for a while back here that I've been out of for about 11 years, although it seems like a lot longer than that. It's actually being prepared right now to be a rental. And so we were able to gain access to the inside and just kind of take a walk around and reminisce about everything from this house. So I just want to insert a picture right here that was taken from this angle of one time when it had snowed really, really bad. Absolutely crazy. I remember shoveling that snow. It was insane. So taking a walk around this house, so much of it is exactly how we remember it. Um, totally unchanged. There are some things that are changed, like we had built a fence over here at one point on Father's Day, I think it was, and I put two trees in the front yard, which are now gone, um, but a lot of this stuff is unchanged. I remember I put in this walkway here, and there was actually another little fence, a white picket fence here, which if you look closely, you can still see the uh, the wooden post that's been cut off. The porch looks almost exactly the same. There's only a few things that have been changed. The paint has all worn off here. Yeah, a lot of this, the porch looks exactly how it did. When I lived here, at one point, there was a bad hailstorm that came through. It damaged the siding and it damaged the roof. So we got the entire house sided from our insurance, as well as a new roof on there. And if we step over here, you can see what kind of shingling that was up there. I remember these steps were like always treacherous going up these things because the wood back here, which has now been repaired, was just rotted away. So that was kind of sinking at the time. So let's go ahead in and we'll check things out here. So there are some people here actually looking at the house right now. So we're gonna start upstairs. Now, the first thing I notice is the carpet in here and in the living room throughout the rest of the house has been changed, but it was originally a hunter green that we had installed. Um, when you come up here, this was the door that went out to the landing where those other steps were that I said were kind of treacherous. Um, this bathroom here, it's amazing to see how little has changed. Like almost everything from the lighting fixture down to the floor is the same as when we were here. I actually put this floor in myself. Uh, didn't do a very good job, as you can see. <laughs> And I, I stopped right here as we get into the closet. And it's funny to see like these shelves here in this stained glass window. That's all the same. Oh my gosh, even the border up here has not been removed. That's the same border that was there when I lived here. This is actually a clawfoot tub, but I built this enclosure around it. I put up this door thing here, which looking at it from this angle, I can explain it a little bit better. It is a door frame, but the idea was that we had some fabric hanging down here that looked like kind of under the sea fabric because we had Finding Nemo decals on this and we had like some netting up here and a starfish. Um, I put this up, <laughs> all this here. This was even mine. I remember hanging this thing. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. now. This one, I believe I hung as well, but I honestly just don't remember. I do remember putting up this glass shelf though. And I'm glad to see that they redid the plumbing because under here is where I had to do some plumbing and I had no idea what I was doing, so I kind of messed it up. It's funny even just to see like the little fixtures like this that would have held that stuff that I had up there, like this and that one down there, it actually held a pole fabric was draped on. Across the hall here, this was many rooms over the years, but most recently it was Nathan's room and it had carpet in it at the time. Um, I had built this giant bunk bed over here and looking at it, I have no clue how I pulled that off because Nathan and I were talking and he says the door was still on there, but I have no idea how it would have been able to be opened with the bunk bed here. But you can see it's like a giant closet in here. Over here to the left in this corner, I had painted this enormous Spider-Man. And we were trying to look through the layers of paint to see if we could see any remnants of that Spider-Man. I mean, I had like buildings and everything down here. 
but yeah, there's just, there's too many layers of paint on it. You cannot see it anymore at all. Under the bed was like a little cove you could go in. There was a big 32 inch box TV over here. And then on this end, I think there was another TV and like a mini fridge and a little mini couch that pulled out to a bed in case he had anybody sleep over. And it's funny to look close at these walls because you can see, if I can get the light on it, places like this where there used to be a border and I would have like scraped that border off and it kind of damaged the wall. Back out through the hall here, like it makes me think of the giant Halloween party that I had one year where when you got to the top of the steps here, there was a strobe light going and there was fog going everywhere. And you'd look in here and there was a seven foot tall Michael Myers standing there like moving back and forth with his knife. And in the tub, it was filled with water and there was floating candles. It was really, really cool. And I had every one of these rooms decked out, including like a, uh, a person hanging upside down in this doorway here. But this is the exact same uh, lighting fixture in here. This is the attic right here. I see they have changed the doorknob. Um, it used to be down there, I believe. Back here, this was Blaine's room. And if you remember, in my garage right now, I have this Maslin Tiger scoreboard that I made for Blaine for this room. And it used to hang on this wall right here. And then his bed was back over on this side here. It's just so insane to see this stuff. Like, I installed this floor here. It's, it's actually held up pretty dang good for being that many years old. And I remember even when I put it in, I never made it into the closet. And I was just like, yeah, you'll never see that. So, <laughs> which is something that I would never do nowadays. But this is the same door on the closet and everything. So if we come out here across the hall, this was my daughter Courtney's room. Now it's all stripped down to the hardwood, but at the time, I had put pink carpet in here for her, and she had a big TV over here. She had a giant waterbed over here, and that's the same uh, lighting fixture and fan up there. And if we look over here at the closet, let me just back up to get a shot right here of the whole room, but that door on the right is a closet. And as we come over here and look inside, what do we find? but a piece of the pink carpet. How amazing is that? <laughs> it's just so funny because that's been in there for at least 15 years. So crazy. There's so much in here that is untouched and unchanged that I would be willing to bet that if we really looked close, we would find like little carvings in the walls and in the doors that my kids did as they were growing up. So we'll come out here and just do a quick look in the attic because I can tell there's still people downstairs and I don't want to get anybody on film. So here's the attic, same steps going up that hole right there. We, we distinctly remember. Um, let's step up here. This step here, I actually repaired because it was like falling apart. And every time you stepped up, you had to just step over it or else you'd fall through it. So here's the attic here. And I remember I had all my Halloween stuff up here. We had boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff, including Christmas stuff. And I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. I got the light on. But if you look down here, there's a Christmas bulb and another one. I guarantee those were my Christmas bulbs. That seven foot Michael Myers I was talking about, I actually had laying here in a fake coffin that I built. And I remember every time I came up here, I was like, oh my gosh, he's going to sit up and he's going to be real and he's going to kill me. So while there's people still inside, we'll, uh, we'll look around the back here. And yeah, these bricks here, this is more of what I put in. Um, there's the back door. I, I think I put in that lighting fixture up there. Oh my gosh, it's just so crazy to see all this. So this is all overgrown here, but yeah. I put in the walkway here and this back uh, patio just with all these uh, paving bricks. And I remember while I was putting this in, I had a CD player out here and I was listening to the soundtrack from Angus. 
the movie Angus. <laughs> so a funny story about me putting in this uh, patio here. It used to be perfectly flat. And when I was putting it in, I was so thirsty. And for some reason, the only thing I had in the house to drink was beer. And I was not a drinker. I didn't even drink beer, so I don't know why I had it. But I started drinking it while I was working. And the entire patio was flat. And by the time I got to this part back here, I had drank so much beer that this area right here was the only place that was like really rickety looking. <laughs> the backyard here, um, it has a lot more grass now than it did when we left because like these trees had grown up and it was all shaded here. We had a gigantic tree right here. You remember that? Where the fire pit is, that's where the tree was. This is just a bunch of brush, he said. So, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep, that's where the uh, that's where the tree was. We had a fire pit that was, like, right around here. Yeah, we, well, we had one that was, like, built off oh, yeah. of the deck. So it was kind of like, I remember it rem reminded me of the front of the Titanic. Because it was, like, an oval, but it kind of came to a point. And I remember having fires in there. And I actually have a picture of myself kneeling down right beside this tree that was here when I took pictures for an eBay auction that I called the E.T. Um, mystery egg or capsule or something like that. The car, you had your little, um, what was that little car? Oh, the had? neon. The neon, and yeah, there's a neon back there and you did a uh, eBay thing where people gave you money to destroy your car with a sledgehammer and whatever <laughs> other tools you had. Yeah, and that was actually in the newspaper. I bet you anything I'll be able to find that. Yeah. Uh, that article but that car sat back there for years and years after i beat it up and until some guy driving by saw it and he was like how much you want for that car and i said you can take it what? and yeah and, and he jumped in it and he drove it it actually started oh my gosh. and he drove it up and hooked it to the back of his car and towed it and i remember him using spray paint to paint in tow on the back of the car because oh he was going to use it for some kind of a crash up derby That's too funny. yeah and i remember there was like an enormous spider inside the car and i told him i said there's a big spider in there he's like i don't care <laughs> and he climbed right in awesome. but yeah when we were here we had a whole um a eight foot privacy fence or six foot privacy fence that went around the whole perimeter of the yard. Okay, I gotta take a look here. Okay, here's the same bricks um, that I used for the patio and that, so I'll bet you anything that these bricks made the original fire pit up there that I put in that I said was shaped like the front of the Titanic. Let's see, back here, I remember we had like these pricker bush kind of things. They lined this whole part right here. And I remember we had our fence up against it, but at one point, I got a letter from the from the city that I had to come out here and trim these bushes because they were going over the alleyway here and scratching people's cars. So at one point, we had a uh, play set back here. And, uh, oh, funny story about that is we had hamsters. And when the hamsters died, <laughs> uh, Courtney made a uh, couple of bags out of duct tape. And we put the hamster carcasses in the duct tape bags. <laughs> And we nailed them to the playset. I don't know why. They were there for years. And then eventually we had a, um, a trampoline right here. And I remember uh, the big tree that was right there was the same kind of tree as this one right here. And we would, it, it was the same thing where it was like so big and just like hovered over everything. So I would jump on the trampoline and grab the leaves from the tree as I was jumping on the trampoline. <laughs> we even have pictures of jumping on that trampoline. Yeah, yeah. We, we got all kinds of pictures. I'm going to have to dig them out and put them in this video. But this yard looks so much smaller than when we were here. I mean, it seemed like it was just enormous when we were here. Yeah. I remember having the play set. We, had a, we, we got one of them little blow-up pools for a while. And it was like up there. The trampoline was right here. Was no grass. It was yeah. dirt. Just all dirt. Yeah, well, and I think that was because we had dogs. Because we yeah. got dogs and they'd come out here and just run so yeah. fast around and tear everything up. Yeah. It was crazy. You know, as well as all the the shade from that giant tree. Oh, yeah, and the roots. So, you can still find roots around here that are sticking up from the ground. Yeah, yeah, like right here. Here's roots. Yep. And uh, just all around the yard, there's roots from the tree. So crazy. So it's funny to look over here because I was trying to figure out where the fence actually was. And if you look, you can see the remnants of it 
here's remnants of the post down to the concrete here and you can just follow it where did i see that oh right here you can follow it all the way back through the yard and see where the fence line was around the whole yard okay so you see this little extension cord sticking out here and that other wire just blowing in the wind I drilled that hole. I put the extension cord out there because when I lived here, I did a lot of eBay and I cut that hole up there and I had a uh, security camera pointing over here by the door where I would put all my eBay stuff out to be picked up. And right here, hey Nathan, come over here a second. <laughs> Stand like right there. Is this where we took the picture for the tattoo? Yeah. 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 So right here is where I stood up on the porch and I took the pictures down just like this <laughs> of Nathan and Blaine and Courtney and myself so that I could get the right angle for my tattoo. Yeah. So that I would be looking down like this and then they would all be looking up at me in my tattoo. <laughs> And if you look up here, there's another plug. That's actually from a year that I had Christmas lights up there. So we're back in the house here, and uh, this is the, the same thermostat that was here when we were here. This is our old living room right here, and at one point I had built a TV thing, like a wall with a TV in it, and a, uh, a fireplace in front of it, which we never did get like the, the guts for, so it was just an empty fireplace. So many memories from in this room here, like Christmas, carving pumpkins, watching movies, having movie nights. And through this door here, this room was like most recently my bedroom. I had a, a big king-size bed in here. Um, I remember at one point we had a king-size water bed in here. Yeah, the head would have been up against this wall here. There's the living room through there. We used to have a one-room air conditioner in the living room that we'd have to close this door and the double sliding doors over there because the only room it would get cold was that one room. Here's the kitchen through here, which we'll go in in a minute. This bathroom right off of what was my bedroom. It's just, it's amazing to see this stuff because a lot of it, again, is still the same. The same floor in here, the same uh, towel holder that I put up. Um, if you look closely, you can see this part right here that becomes textured. That was actually textured wallpaper that I put up that I had painted red. So many memories walking through this house. I remember one of my kids, I think Nathan, getting his head stuck in here one time. Uh, coming into the kitchen here, it looks really the same in a lot of ways. The sink, the counters, all this is the same as it was. We did have our fridge over here. I remember we had like our uh, a microwave hutch over here. And at one point I had put up um, more cabinets up here as well as like a brick background. So this was our dining room. And it's funny because these uh, cupboards right here, I actually put up because at one point I was doing extreme couponing. So I had these cupboards up to hold stuff as well as shelves built on this entire wall here. And they were just packed with cereal and snacks and food of all kinds that I had couponed for. At one point we had dogs and I remember opening this back door to let them out just to run in the backyard. So this is the same fixture that was up here with the fan and the lights. And these apples, we actually hung on these poles. How crazy is that that those are still there? Oh, the other thing I wanted to tell you about was this carpet here, if I haven't said this already, all used to be hunter green. Before I had the big Halloween party one year, um, we decided to do new carpet right before the party, so we had them come in and install hunter green carpet through here. And the last thing, let me take you downstairs into the basement here. It is just so surreal coming down through here. And even, I mean, walking through the entire house, this brings back so many memories coming down here. And, uh, you know, obviously we walked through the house before I started making this video. But this basement here, it just looks like a dingy old basement, but there are so many memories in here for us. Like, for one thing, this was leaking for the longest time. So we had just a towel wrapped around there. <laughs> I don't know why I just didn't get it fixed, but I didn't. Um, over here, I had this all set up for eBay at one point. 
I built these shelves back here and I had all my eBay merchandise on there. I had like a, um, a desk here with my computer and everything. And this back here, I also built this for eBay. This was like my packing table because it gave me a big surface to work on. I had a little TV up here. I'd watch movies all day. And my printer would have been sitting over here to print labels for my eBay stuff. And this here is an old dresser. And this was a dresser that I actually used for a long time. And I just turned it into um, this eBay table here. And I went through and looked above these rafters here, all through all of them, just to see if there was anything that I by any chance put up there. You know, when you like buy a present for somebody, sometimes you hide it up in the rafters above these things. But unfortunately, I didn't find anything. Over here is where um, the washer and dryer was. And what's hilarious about this, this is what we discovered over here. You see these receipts? These are my receipts that I stuck up there from things that I was buying to fix up things around the house. For some reason, I was gonna save my receipts, and so I stuck them there, and I am blown away <laughs> that they are still there. We were trying to read what it said, and the only thing I could see is that this was from Builder's Square, but, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna leave those there. I remember this uh, pencil sharpener right here, and just all this. I mean, obviously, I'm gonna remember it. I lived here. But it's just, it's surreal to walk through here and see all of this. Just so many memories come back, especially with these shelves over here. You know, we had all kinds of Christmas stuff packed back here. And it's just, it's amazing to see all this. So that was a fun little trip to the house that we lived in. Um, I bought that house in 1997. Nathan was born in 1997 right after we moved in there and I wish I would have been filming our first walkthrough because we had so many things we were talking about so many different funny memories and that but um I just hadn't had permission yet from the guy who owns it now um so you know after we did our first walkthrough that's when I took you guys back through and showed you so um just really interesting to go back through there and and see everything in there so what was like yeah. the best part of it for you Oh, I mean, I don't just the fact that everything is so uh, it's still the same, you know. Hardly anything has changed in there, and I always loved all the the woodwork and the big sliding doors. Yeah, that was my favorite part of the house um, when I was a kid was the big sliding doors. Um, but probably the backyard. When I went in the backyard, because as a kid I spent so much time in that backyard. Um, all these memories of like the funny things that my brother and I used to do back there, like digging holes. We would, <laughs> we would dig holes for no reason in the backyard. Um, <laughs> but so many memories there. And, yeah, the backyard was my favorite part because everything just started flooding back. Like, how many animals do you think we buried in that backyard? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know, man. There's a good handful. I can remember. Uh, I specifically remember burying. Uh, a cat back there, and it might have been um, oh, uh, Azrael or Chi Chi or something. Probably Azrael, and maybe even Chi Chi too. Yeah, they might both be back there. <laughs> that is too funny, man. <laughs> yeah, one, we had a black cat named Azrael, and one night we were watching uh, Daddy Daycare, or was it Daddy Day Camp? I don't remember. I think it was Daddy Daycare, and it was one of our Saturday night snack and a movies. And in the middle of that movie, I remember seeing out the window like a couple of cars oh, like s yeah. slowing down and stopping. And I was like, what is going on out there? So I went to look and here somebody had hit my cat. Azrael had got out. Somebody ran over the cat. So I brought him in. And I think I waited till the end of the movie to tell you guys. I remember him being wrapped in a towel. <laughs> That's all I can, I can barely remember that day, but I remember Azriel being wrapped in a towel. Yeah, yep, because I, I, I put, picked him up, wrapped him in a towel, brought him in, and and then I was like, oh my gosh, I have to tell these guys that the cat, or that the, yeah, that the cat just got hit by a car. Insane. So, it, memories like that, that just come flooding back, you know, so many things that happened in that house. But anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little trip through memory lane in our old house.